Grand Theft Auto gamers behind 14 shootings in one UK city, says Councillor. Was there no other way to present that headline? Ah. The Grand Theft Auto generation used guns, not fists. Surgeon Salford shootings blamed on war games by Counselor. It's the exact same article, except I'm not sure whether this is better or worse. Here, it makes it sound like you should take it seriously because he said it. The counselor in question is John Warmisham, and doesn't he just look like a barrel of laughs? Here is the quote that inspired the headline. Regarding the increase in shootings, he says, It is escalating, but these days the young Turks have a different mindset from previous generations. They have been brought up on a diet of war games and Grand Theft Auto, and some are trying to live it out. Yeah, that is some Jack Thompson shit, but don't forget the fucking headline. Grand Theft Auto gamers behind 14 shootings in one UK city, says Counselor. Never mind that these kids are also obviously growing up around the gangs that they end up joining. It's the video games. That is the key point. If it weren't for that accursed game, these gangs would have just stuck to using baseball bats. They would have never even heard of a gun. I have to admit, I am somewhat blown away by this argument. I've never heard it before. It's not that games are corrupting the youth, right? It's that they're corrupting people who are already criminals and making them worse. Gangsters are dead. Gangsters don't have to be your audience. Gang culture as we know it is kind of embarrassing. It's not even really culture. They just go for whatever weapon games tell them to. The article does report that another counsellor suggested it was time to bring in a specialist anti-gang police unit. But that's ridiculous. It's so much cheaper to just take their Xboxes away, and then they'll go back to using baseball bats. Grand Theft Auto V has sold more than 50 million copies, and I'm sure that millions of those people playing Grand Theft Auto V grew up with the older installments in the series. The so-called Grand Theft Auto generation responsible for this increase in gun crime is huge. Shouldn't there be a huge problem connected to it everywhere? What percentage of those people are involved in gang shootings? I would be absolutely blown away and shocked if it were anything more than an absolutely minuscule, tiny, insignificant decimal point of a percentage. And yet, we have a politician suggesting that it's the cause of shootings, that it is somehow responsible for making guns appeal to gangs. And then from that, we have a headline saying that he said, Grand Theft Auto gamers are behind the shootings. And then that is the news. Better watch your back for gamers. They shoot people, you know. If you are upset about gamer culture looking bad, if you really care about that, this is the shit you should be absolutely fucking fuming about. And as dumb as I think what that politician said was, he didn't quite say, Grand Theft Auto gamers are behind shootings. And there is no way the editor didn't know what they were doing with that title. So, to all the Grand Theft Auto gamers around the world, I would like to apologize for what happens when my country's politicians and press come together. Personally, I'd like to simply get rid of both. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.